which of the following the next you assess for? You always read the question from the back to get more content related to the question. Assess for what? And this is assessing a client in the clinic who has been taking Mantilucas for asthma prevention. Those are the buzzwords I've underlined. The axis for basically what you assess for. In the case, somebody has asthma taking Mantilucas. Okay, look at try hand. These are some of the medication we can use it for maintenance. It's not just for acute. But it has certain side effects, you should know. One of the major side effects is the suicide ideation. So you should monitor these patients when they're taking this medication. It does not affect your weight, tachycardia, or hypercalemia. This is a straightforward content you have to know. When the ankle is actually about mental locus, you see that they're going to ask you use for maintenance, long-term therapy, but you got to watch for suicide, especially in kids. So... This is what the nurse should monitor for. So suicide ideation. Okay. So that's number one. The client on long-term foticasone inhaler therapy for asthma is at risk for which of the following complications? This is a trap question. You have to pay attention to the buzzword. Patient is on long-term, but what? Focatisone therapy inhaler for asthma. This is a steroid, but it's an inhaled steroid. Most of the inhaled steroids stay in your lung. You don't. It does not go into your system, so it does not have the um, systemic symptoms of steroid. Right. Therefore, based on that, you know systemic steroid symptoms of steroid causes hypertension. We not go into your system. Systemic steroid will cause hypokalemia, so this is wrong. Systemic steroid will cause weight gain. Let's take in strategy. Keyword, just based on systemic steroid, is supposed to pick aura trash because of the uh, candidiasis in your mouth. So that's the one. Then you should recognize that which symptoms may indicate an adverse reaction to the medication. That means adverse reaction to the medication. A client with COPD is taking tropium, that's taking strategy. Figure out what is the medication. And close questions are straightforward, but you have to make it easy also. Trotropium, it sounds like atropine, right? You see? Trotropium is, look at what they say, atro. Right, imipramine. So throtropin, theotropin sound like that, right? This is what it's an anticholinergic. Okay, it's an anticholinergic medication, and we use it for asthma. If you use it for anticholinergic, well, what side effect would you see? You see anticholinergic side effect. Anticholinergic side effect causes constipation, right? Anticholinergic will cause tachycardia. It causes urinary retention, dry mouth. You don't have to your potassium. Therefore, this right answer is urinary retention. Okay. Which adverse effect is most important for the nurse to monitor for during corticosteroid steroid therapy? The same thing during steroid therapy. And this is and a, a client with severe asthma is prescribed metaprednisolin IV. Now we have systemic manifestation of a medication. What do you see when you're giving somebody systemic manifestation? It causes hyperglycemia, not hypo. There are risks of infection. It causes hypokalemia and sometimes tachycardia. Which client situation warrant the first call? Who would you call first? Prioritization 101. And this is returning call to four clients taking pantoprazine for peptic ulcer. Baswell, go for it. Analyze it. Make it easy. As all for peptic ulcer. This is PPI. What is the side effect of PPI? Because it's seed death, it decreases your magnesium, because it's pneumonia and osteoporosis. What do you see? Bloating may be related to your peptic ulcer disease, regurgitation of food, peptic ulcer disease, onset, new onset of diarrhea, C. diff, 
no bar movement for 24 hours. Well, good luck with that. It has nothing to do with it. You rather cause diarrhea. Therefore, this is the problem. And this should be most concerned about which potential complication a client receiving lactulose for hepatic encephalopathy is experiencing multiple loose to test the king strategy again. You see the way I'm answering the question? Lactulose, multiple loose to. Every time you have diarrhea, there is one electrolyte you should worry about. So which one would you concern about? Most of the time, potassium go down when it looked lactulose. That's why we don't want you to have too much loose to. Your sodium can also go down. So this is the most important thing you have to do when you answer questions. Lactulose, multiple loose to. Most likely, patient will be hypokalemic. Therefore, that's what you worry about. The sticking strategy is hypokalemia, hypokalemia. That means one of them is right. Which lab findings should prompt the nurse to immediately notify the air care provider? That means prioritization 101. Who do you want to call the doctor for about this finding? And it's with a client with Crohn's disease is prescribed a tyoprim. It's a tyoprim. This is what? Immunomodulator. Okay, immunomodulator can affect your immune system. And therefore, if you have infection, it's a problem. These medications, you got to place T TB and make sure they don't have a PPD, right? Uh, positive. Immoglobin of 14 is normal. Platelet, 15,000. It's also okay. Thus, is a granulocytosis. Why can't less than, less than 2,000 is too low. This individual will have risks of infection. This is normal. Sodium is normal. You give them something that will make them more prone to infection. Yeah, why can't it's already 2000? Neutropenia is not good. What should the nurse assess next? That a client taking mesoprosterol to prevent NSAID induced gastric ulcer report makes menstrual periods. What would you do? Patient taking this medication, mesoprosterol, for NSAID-induced gastritis, we use it for patients who take NSAID. They cannot come out from NSAID um, to prevent them from getting ulcerous and gastric ulcer. But the problem is this patient has mixed a uh, period. What would you do? Mesoprosterol is abortogenic. It can cause abortion. It can cause birth defects. Therefore, anybody who is pregnant should not take it. I don't care how many prior pregnancy you have it, you have had before. This is now. You miss your menses. I need to check your whether you use contraception to prevent you from getting pregnant. The next should suspect which adverse effect a client who's been taking metronidazole for clostridial difficile infection develop numbness, tingling, and tingling in the extremities. The name should respect what kind of adverse effect. This is the definition. It's a definition question. You see it. Numbness and tingling in extremities is peripheral neuropathy. What should the name, what should be the most, the name should be most concerned about the risks for what? A client on long-term aspirin therapy for cardiovascular disease developed persistent heartburn and epigastric discomfort. The name should be most what? Concern about what? If you take aspirin for a long time, you develop peptis or ulcer. And this is the end of it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. And if you need more, you can subscribe to the Adapt and Close. Join our membership. You can get all the series. The membership is on YouTube, very cheap. You have all the content you need. Or you can join the on demand um, with the course that we talk about that is coming up. But membership will get you all the videos for the drug toxicity. Take care of yourself and bye.